fifth mystery. Alright, we experienced the fifth mystery, everybody! Isn't that great? I guess I'm the crazy one here, because I don't know what the fuck that was about. Why is there a question mark when you examine them? Oh! That would be why. So I guess I'm the seventh mystery. Is that what they're trying to imply here? If you jump out, it'll mean seconds of terror followed by an instantaneous pain. Why would you even make that dialogue? Ugh! We'll go into the right door first. What are you called? The Realm of Death. We're going into the left one first. I don't care what it is. And the Realm of Blood. Well, fuck me! Alright. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what this shit's all about. We shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. Welcome, Master, to the Realm of Blood. Huh. For now, give no thoughts to the return trip. If you are tired, enjoy a seething meal. What if I just leave? I go all the way back to the beginning. This is an interesting concept. Great pile of fresh fruit. I want to eat the fruit. What if I go through here, then? Alright. If you see anything you like, relax at your leisure. A pretty white dress. You can't play piano. What do you mean you can't play piano? You're Japanese. That's how that works. I'm sorry, that was incredibly racist. I bet I needed to just wait until that. If you wish, you may take a comforting rest. The mirror is to your left. Yeah, I think you just need to keep following the path, really, for it. I'm gonna take another adventure through that in a minute, because... That's weird. Unlike any before, look in anyway. Um, let me... Also, another one of these. What is up with the colored bears? Huh. Well, we gotta use it, so, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's figure out what this bitch is about. I was gonna say, everything was very weirdly fucking linear up to this point. <sighs> Two years ago in middle school. Yeah, this is gonna be a horrible memory, then. This is like the corpse party hallway. Hey, Usui, you're late. Because I had Jim. I don't care. Give us our homework. You did do it, didn't you? Can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Thanks, Lil Usui. 1,000 yen free for every wrong answer. You're rich. That's enough responsibility, eh? Oh, fee. What am I doing? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. You listening, Usui? Always spacing out. That's blank stares, Usui, alright. Does the class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, nobody's gonna notice ya. I've been dealing with them for about three months. 
They're just letting out stress for the coming exams. They're not going to a decent high school anyway. That sort of thing I think about as I let it wash over me and endure. With the recent death of my grandpa, a famous artist, the Usui family has been in turmoil over his inheritance. So I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school. At home, I care for my family. At school, for these losers. I feel myself withering, lonely, doubting. What am I living for? I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not you jerks. Say, did you know? I do, contrary to appearances. She really likes frilly outfits. <clears throat> huh, for real? <clears throat> totally, like Gothic Lalita and stuff? She's gone out like that on her days off. Now that's something so cute, Usui. You wanna be a princess? Don't talk about people's tastes like that, you something. Well, it's about time, Usui. Show us your cute little clothes, Usui. Let us snap some pics. Don't rob me of the one thing free of stress. Hang on. Don't rob me of the one thing free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favorite clothes. Sunday or something. There really should be something that indicates whether or not she's thinking and when they're talking. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know, Usui? Always such a damn awkward girl. But today, you'll get to be a pretty frilly princess. Oh, so adorable for her age. Wahahaha. <laughs> Don't make me any more angry. Hmm? You say something? What, Usui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your traps, guys. Usui wants to say something, hmm? It off. Not good. You can tell my emotions are getting uncontrollable. If I stay silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please, don't reach for my pocket. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, it'll turn the world upside down. What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie, Usui. Knock it off, you bitches! Ah! Yes, in that moment, Mishiro Usui took out a small hidden knife and swung at the delinquent. It left a trail of red on the girl's hand, six centimeters long. Immediately after this incident, a teacher heard a scream and came running. It wasn't a severe wound, so it didn't affect my school record such that I couldn't graduate. And the delinquents no longer approached me. In fact, no one in my class did. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in the name of correction. That was this memory. Now to just break the mirror. Uh, yeah, there's more to do here. This may just be a vision of the past. But this is a reenactment, an illusion the mirror is creating. It's merely based on my memory. So what reason is there to hold back before the blood and screaming brought me back to my senses? But now is different. Now that my spirit has grown stronger, I'm going around this world. I can kill them. Leave no survivors. I'm convinced I can do it. I'll let my urges of hatred find an outlet. If only here in the mirror I'll get retribution. If only here I'll make these horrible bitches suffer. I'm thinking that's something I don't want to do. That was a dead end? What do you mean that was a dead end? I gotta watch all of that all over again? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Let's do that then. There we go. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Yes, in the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife on those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to calm my parents as they dealt with their with the inheritance went to waste. I set off a bomb just waiting to burst. My mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right. And so I lost a place to belong. That's sad, actually. Wow.
So that's a thing that happened. All right. I guess on to the other door. Shit. Things just got real. So this is the fucking room of death. There's more Ebe going on right now. I'm okay with this. Huh. Another one of those rooms. I'd prefer to avoid that for now if I can. The stone statue quietly looms. An unnatural gap in the books. So I need to put another book in there, clearly. Respect your predecessors. I don't get it. What do I? Good question, what do you? Uh, all right. So I go through it once, and no, it's literally just the location of the fucking cracked staircase, really. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. It's nowhere my. What the fuck? I go back. <clears throat> this is interesting. I like this. Fun, fuck you too. I'm kind of worried about what the memory that she's going to see at the end of this one is. Fuck. Obviously what I need to do, but I don't know. Guess we gotta go in here. Oh fucking why is this a thing? Like, honestly, why is this a thing? Uh, 
Oh, great. The Holy Mother's Most Beloved Day. Why is this a thing? Like, now it's starting to get a point with this reused mechanic where it was cool at first, putting him on a patrol, but it's a little, it's a little erratic the way that it works. Fucking, like, inconsistent, even. Sometimes he chases you, sometimes he doesn't chase you, I don't know. Sometimes he'll run across the fucking room barrel assing at you. And you can't see him because he's black on the fucking foggy background that they have going on this to try to set the atmosphere. So you can't see him worth of ass. Unless he's right on top of you. And if he's right on top of you, he can see you, so... There's no winning. Wait, what? I should probably read the bookshelves then. Like, you just, you can't see him, is the thing. The whole entire, like, ideology of this guy, too, would be completely thrown off and fixed up a bit on 12-8. Huh. 12-08, then. Fuck you. Like, if you had a health bar and it wasn't instant kill and absolutely punishing if you don't see the guy because the game mechanics just don't really support you to hide from him. That really changes everything. I still don't know what's up with the teddy bears. Born on 9-5. Oh six one two maybe. Got to be oh six one two. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't that bad of a puzzle. I just I hate the mechanics behind that guy. I didn't hate them at first, but now I do. Ugh. Matches. Yeah, yeah. So, I have matches. That's supposed to do something there, buddy? I'm gonna just assume no. That better be a run back into the room and he disappears kind of thing. It is. So I can't do anything involving matches. Not that I know of, at least. 
No, a matchbook counts. No, it doesn't, apparently. Okay. Alright, fine, fuck you then. I, I still don't understand the whole mind your predecessors thing. That doesn't quite make sense to me still, and then that's instant death still when you walk in. So what what am I doing here? What do I <clears throat> It wasn't here either. You go back through the fucking... Uh. This bureau with an odd air about it has a book with a blue cover inside. Yeah, why the fuck not? Gonna throw a trap at me before I step back in there? Because that seems to be a fucking consistent thing that happens every single time that you get something. See what I mean? Fucking called it! Because backtracking over the same thing every fucking 30 times any time that you get anything done isn't annoying or anything. Again. Wow, that just got darker the further you got in with those. What? What? That's not how it works in the real world. I assure you. I guess. West wall, or west shall always be a reflection of east. Oh great, it's a matching game. There we go. Yeah, matching puzzles are uh, not really my favorite thing to do. Because it doesn't really seem like it's a test of intelligence to me, or really memory, it's just you go back and forth and you compare. Like, it's kind of basic and time consuming. It's really it. I mean, it was a decent concept though, definitely. Some things cannot be seen when there is light. Stab the sword into the unseen corpse. So it's probably there.
No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't know then. I guess we strengthen it. And go in here. We don't go in there. That was a good mechanic. Definitely. Okay, that's exactly how I thought that that would work out. So I'm glad that that worked out. Like, why... It's obviously here. It's fucking obviously right there. Like... Why... I'm losing my mind. You probably gotta use it on top of the blood spot, motherfucker. Yeah, apparently. Who would think to use it on top of that spot? You'd think to have an activation where you fucking walk over it and it's looking for an item. Like everything else in the game. Don't mind me, I'm just a little bit salty. I'm a little bit saved twice, the same time, in the same instance, salty. One day ago. You really don't have to see me off. It can't hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Then again, since you're all black over, since you're black all over, maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mashiro. <laughs> Why are you so nice, eh? I've always served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to take care about me, is there? I mean, I certainly wasn't deepening our friendship solely to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Ayano. Hold on, what's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in particular out of you. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without my motive. Without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate motives or pros and cons when I'm making friends with people. Do you, Mishiro? Didn't I tell you? To be interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in such a situation. Then have you already forgotten what it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it to preserve our family's, her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. You're overthinking it, Mishiro. I don't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not, that's all. I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly ever since a few years ago, and that your high school is, an, is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. That's how things are, so loosen up, okay? Besides, 
You like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you did if you didn't think that about me. I I didn't mean to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really, though, enough of all the overly logical thinking, or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. All right, let's see. Let's go. Um. Hmm. Then, Mashiro, watch out. Stop it, that's enough. Just stopping. Ayato protecting her from the reckless driver headed towards her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishiro Usui's heart dying in that instant. And her loss of hope from losing Ayato carrying her to Mirror Lake, in which she threw herself in despair. All these things Mishiro remembered. Wow. Not gonna lie, I didn't see that coming out of the story. I did not. So I never saw that other guy's mirror. And then talking to you guys doesn't do anything. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna cut the episode here then, guys, and I'll move into the door. And we'll probably be seeing an ending for this game, maybe? Time is it? Plenty of time. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next part. Take it easy, and... Yeah!